So Dobbin is a nickname given to a popular horse racing strategy that relies on a horse's price shortening significantly in play. Dob stands for double or bust, hence the term Dobbin. Punters and traders often exploit these price contractions on specific selections that often behave in the same way, giving off the impression that they're traveling far more comfortably than they actually are. The point being, Dobbin makes it possible to extract a profit from a horse's price in play before the race is even over. So in this short YouTube, I'm gonna cover three important points around Dobbin. First of all, I'm gonna share with you an example on screen for how Dobbin works very briefly. Then I'm gonna explain the key points and characteristics to runners that actually dob routinely. And then finally, I'll show you the easiest way to find Dobbin selections ahead of time. By the end, you'll be a Dobbin expert. Okay, so first of all, how Dobbin works with a brief example. Now, just imagine we've got a hypothetical horse race where a horse is priced at two to one. That's 3.0 in decimal odds on an exchange. So if we back the horse for 20 pounds at 3.0, then our potential profit is 40 pounds and our potential loss is 20 pounds. Now, we suspect that the horse is gonna behave in a manner that's gonna cause its price to shorten by half or more during the race, trading down at 1.5 in decimal odds. So if we place a lay bet in the market in advance after our back bet at 1.5 for 40 pounds, that means our total exposure at 1.5 is 20 pounds, and our total profit, if it should get matched, is 40 pounds. So if the horse starts the race at two to one, which is 3.0, trades at half its price at 1.5, both bets get matched, then you're left with 40 pound profit and 20 pound loss in either direction. This means you've sealed in a total profit of 20 pounds, win or lose, before the race is over. This is why it's called double or bust, because you either double your stake or lose it. Okay, so let's head over on screen so I can show you how to identify one of these runners and a few other tips and tricks on route. So I'm gonna use timeform.com, uh, the horse racing tab up the top here. Timeform's a very popular site. I'm pretty sure most people will know about it. If you don't already, it gives you horse racing statistics, information, and there's a lot of extra data with Timeform that you don't get on other websites. So we can see the in-play low, the in-play high, which are all crucial for our Dobbin selections. Uh, I've used them for a long time myself. I'll put a link in the description down below if you want to check it out afterwards. But I'm aware that today there's a Dobbin selection. Um, we've actually done the, the Dob a little while ago. And so I'm going to show you on screen how it all works now, how you can find them. And then I'll show you what happened with that selection. So down the bottom here, Ross Common, uh, it was 450. The race is finished. So we've got the results here. But the first thing you presented with is there's you know there's a few padlocks on the screen, free to registered users. So what you need to do is register for a free account. You know they don't bug you with emails or anything like that. Uh, but then when you sign in, you've got your own account and you can see the extra information within plays, highs, lows, set alerts, all kinds of stuff uh, for free. So I'm going to log in here, nice and easy, and you can see we've now got that extra information in this column down here. So. The thing that I really want to show you to do with the Dobbin is, is the alerts, to be honest. You can use it for other things too, but uh, up here if I tap tracker, that little icon, it brings me to a very personal page on my account which I've got previous selections which I've noted in the past previously. Um, and you can see that I've got a couple of selections here, email alerts, uh, mobile push alerts, I've got them activated. I haven't got the internal mail alerts, that's just for inside your Timeform account. Um, so. When you've got them selected and you've got some on your list, you can choose whether they send you a notification at declaration, the evening before, uh, the morning of the race, or even with the result as well. Uh, now Rudy Cottrell is on the list there, so if I click that one, you can see historically um, Rudy Cottrell has outperformed their Betfair starting price. So we've got all the usual govins, date, that kind of stuff. Uh, but over here, ISP, BSP, in play, high and low are the most interesting ones to us. And they're the ones that you don't get if you're not logged in. So uh, Betfair starting price is BSP. Uh, industry starting price is obviously the bookies. And then you've got the in play, high and low. So you can see uh, Betfair starting price of 8.2, it traded at 2.5. That's a pretty big contraction, that's more than half. Uh, same here, traded at 3 from 14.5. Traded at 10 from 20. Um, so all of these are your double or bust selections and you can see that 
out of these selections, you know, out of the last 10 there, nine of those selections, you would have doubled your stake. So on a 50-50 bet, you would have won nine times out of 10. And that is the attractive side of Dobbin. So we can see those previous results there. And obviously next time the horse is gonna run the evening before, I'll get an email to remind me about it. Now, if you see a specific runner that you like, up the top here, my tracker, that's just how you add it. So you can see I've added a note with it too. Solid Dobbin selection, routinely outruns starting price, save the changes, hide that there and go back to my tracker page and it's on the list. So that's a really easy way to identify your Dobbin selections. You can see there's a few more here. Uh, some of these are not quite as good, uh, but you see, look, so historically, uh, Betfair starting price in play high and low. Uh, these horses do routinely uh, outperform their price. So that's where you can find them nice and easy, timeform.com. Check out the link in the description below. Okay, so here's Rudy Cottrell just before the start of the race. Uh, I'm gonna take a back price of 8.0, which means we need to get a lay price of 4.0 in running to double our stake, or we're gonna go bust and lose that 20 pound. So we take the back price fully matched, uh, 20 pounds profit, potential profit of 140 pounds there. Just to fast forward the recording, the race goes off in play. You can see that after a little while, the bet was matched and we're locked in 20 pound profit no matter what happens on the left hand side of the screen there. That's because like I said earlier, we've backed at one price, we've laid at another, they've canceled each other out, left us in profit because we've got that 50% price reduction. Just to show you on screen there, the Betfair chart, it traded all the way down at 2.5, from a starting price of 8.0. Pretty neat, right? Now, if you're finding this video interesting, please take two seconds just to tap the like button down below. Now we're gonna move on to what causes a horse to dob. So I think everyone watching this video will be completely familiar with that feeling where you're watching a horse uh, run its race, maybe you've even backed it, and the horse is going strong. It's traveling well, and the final couple of furlongs, maybe even the final straight, it just fades away into nothing. Now, we know that's not great in terms of getting a winner, but they can be good dobbing selections. And the reason for it is the main chunk of the race, they travel well. They exhibit a lot of confidence in their running style, and that means people are gonna be backing that horse in play, uh, possibly even in play traders, which are gonna close out uh, your exit position, your lay position, at half the starting price, uh, which is exactly what you want. So you want horses that are gonna trade low because they look like they're doing well. They don't necessarily have to be the winner, they just need to put in a good effort and appear to be doing very well within the race. So what kind of characteristics and things you wanna be looking out for that? Well, obviously a motionless jockey is always a good one. Um, a horse that doesn't appear to be struggling in any way, shape or form, traveling very strongly, uh, showing signs of improvement in the race without too much persuasion from the jockey. Uh, also, front-running horses typically do quite well with Dobbin because they've got the advantage, they're already in the lead, so they're ones to look out for. And if you're one of those people that's fortunate enough to get a little bit of inside information from time to time, you might want to consider Dobbin on those particular selections because you know they're going to outperform their starting price. So in terms of picking the best Dobbin selections, as I've already previously mentioned, you wanna use the alerts. There's nothing better than doing your own homework. Uh, you can trust yourself more than anything else also, particularly when you're looking at the historic prices in play on time form um, and setting those alerts. Down at the start is also a very important point. So things can go out the window last minute. Occasionally, they may the horse may get a new jockey there may be new riding instructions. They may try and ride the horse in a different style. If it was always been a front runner and you can see straight away from the start the jockey is holding up the horse, you have that option to close out your open position, probably at minimal loss, um, maybe even a little bit of profit. So bear in mind that things can change and it's about loss avoidance more than anything else. Now, if you want to filter runners from a database based on their previous dobbing behavior, then check out this additional video in the end screen here. Also, we've got very popular horse racing betting strategy video down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the links in the description down below.